Hey, we're in Fresno County at the Fresno County Farm Bureau at a Nut Harvest Safety Seminar. Something very important is coming up in a couple of months. And with me here is Carlos Mendez. He is uh, heading up the, the harvest of the harvest crew of the, uh, of the almonds in Madera County for AgriLand Farming Company. Carlos, what kind of risk are out there during harvest, which is going to happen in a couple of months? Well, w this year we're covering about 8,000 acres of almonds. Um, so basically, with amongst those 8,000 acres, we got a, over 60 pieces of equipment, not including supervisor vehicles. Uh, there is definitely safety is number one. Safety is in the culture. Uh, we have lights, strobe lights, excessive lights. It looks like a Christmas tree out there. We have uh, safety vests for everybody, helmets if they're necessary. We take all the precautions, and that's that is our number one goal. Everybody needs to be get home safe just as they came in the morning to work. Great. It's a it's a busy time, as you said. A lot of equipment out there, a lot of mm -hmm. acreage. In terms of the people, you know, everybody's got to really know where everybody is, right? And, and the, during harvest, and it can be pretty dusty out there. And it, you know, there's a lot of pro there's a lot of potential risk in there. Yes, there is. Every piece of equipment we have actually has a two way radio, so that we're in communication at all times. Uh, hazard lights, strobe lights, everything is required at all times um, on these vehicles or on any piece of machinery we we have, whether it's light, dark, whatever it is, it's it's required. So we enhance the most visibility as we can, although sometimes it's very difficult. That's Carlos Mendez with AgriLand Farming. Now we're here with Teresa Keen, the Director of Operations with AgSafe. Now this AgSafe is a nonprofit organization ba based in Modesto, and AgSafe is up and down the state holding seminars like this one in Fresno trying to make sure that all of the farmers, all the farm workers are learning new ways and new innovations to stay safe. Tell us what's going on with AgSafe and all these seminars. Well, uh, right now, actually today, we are doing our first nut safety school. So um, we really work to ensure that all commodities have the resources that they need to keep their workers safe. Because workers, we know, that's what drives agriculture in California. Great. I'm so glad you guys are focused on n the nut industry, you know, because it can be a terrifying industry out there when everybody's harvesting and, the, and there's a lot of dust out and there's so many, so much equipment yes. up and down the fields. And this, this, this is a perfect time for all things to not happen right, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. Um, you know, we're busy. We go and go and go and we're, um, things are constantly changing. And so we just want to make sure uh, farm operations and their workers are equipped with the tools and resources they need to be safe. Great. And give us some, can you give us a, a place for farmers to go, that AgSafe website, to mm -hmm. look at the schedule of some of these seminars you're holding to actually get more information? Oh, absolutely. So if you go to our website, www.agsafe.org, and you go to our calendar, we've got all of the trainings that we have coming up. So we have, uh, this month we are working in nut safety. We are also doing a program around cantaloupe and food safety. Um, and then we also, of course, every month we offer our agricultural laws and regulations for growers and farm labor contractors to go and learn about all the new regulations that are happening in California, but also to keep apprised of um, new things and new tools and resources that we can help provide. That's perfect. Well, that's Teresa Keene, Director of Operations for AgSafe. Now is Tanner Severa. He works for Wolf Farming in Fresno County out at, in the Huron area. And he is the, uh, he's the almond harvest manager and the assistant shop manager there. And he's going to show us some of the around this some of this Weiss McNair equipment, some of the areas where there can be you can get in trouble, and that's why we're talking about nut harvest safety here. So you want to show us where some areas are that we could we need to be aware of? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Uh, right here is a guard. This flips up. Um, we actually run the same exact sweeper. A lot of times, this guard will get ripped off from hitting the trees because the trees are along this side. Yeah. Um, so farms will run it without that guard on there. Okay. And that has um, an open rotor in it, and that can easily get caught on someone's leg or people raking the fields um, that are standing around in, in the orchard. So that's that's an important piece to have on there. Um, Good. Also over here, this is just open. There is no guard for it. So that needs to be watched out for all the time. Um, and the back is a blower. So that's blowing at a very high velocity. Nuts, sti sticks, anything in the, that's left in the orchard blows it you know, in, into the next row. Uh, if any of the workers standing around, maybe the elevator operators or 
or any of the rakers also doing some field labor are in the way of that they can easily be injured by anything flying from the sweeper okay now tanner is going to show us what the what the risk points are on this Weiss McNair harvester yes and um, we're going to walk around and show you those those risk points yeah so this is a self-propelled um, almond harvester we actually run um, a pull behind harvester but with these self-propelled um, as you can see it's very there's a lot of blind spots on it so this harvester has to back up to bank out wagons and if there's someone in between the bank out wagon um, and the harvester and they can't see it that's a huge problem they have installed cameras but a lot of the times the cameras i mean it's a dusty environment yeah. so those things get covered up all the time so you need you know you need someone backing them up hand signals you need lots of communication out there um, this also has a big blower on it blowing out all the sticks and debris leaves um, so that way it cleans out the almonds a little bit so everyone needs to kind of keep an eye out for that same as the sweeper because let me ask you this, Tanner, you know, this says danger to stay 100 feet clear of this yeah. area because things like that, there could be a lot of eye injury there, right? I mean, if you're not wearing Tons protective... Injury, and there's not a lot of eye protective equipment worn out, you know, on the farm when you're harvesting almonds because you're not in a shop, you know, you're not thinking about that kind of stuff, but okay. it happens all the time. Okay. This chain, there's lots of bearings and... Um, catch points where it can get locked up all the time so they're always having to tear this apart and clean it out um, so when operating on it you need to make sure and lock out and tag out your piece of equipment so that way it's can't have an accidental start or someone jump in it and start it up while you're working on it great well thank you tanner severa that's a that was a good tour you took of what took us on on the on the not only the the sweeper but also the harvester here and again we're at an ag safety seminar sponsored by ag safe a nut safety event here in fresno county i'm patrick cavanaugh with california ag today